Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Monisi, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a beautiful fairy garden wreath just in time for spring. So as you see in this video, I am learning how to make paper peonies, and peonies are my favorite flowers, and I've always wanted to learn how to make them out of paper, and I'm just using tissue paper, and as always, I'll leave the um, links to everything that I used in the description box and I attempted to make paper butterflies with this cardstock paper that I found at Hobby Lobby and it was a fail so this is me attempting to make a butterfly <laughs> with this and I just did not like how it turned out as you'll see in the next clips morning it is friday morning it's a gloomy day um it's the next day so you saw me attempt <laughs> making paper butterflies and i actually really didn't like how it turned out so i'm gonna go to hobby lobby and get fake monarch butterflies is what i'm looking for and possibly more mushrooms and maybe some green moss to add to that branch wreath. Um, I just wanted to look very like fairy cottage core, you know. I just love anything that's super whimsical and fun and just I've just always been someone that loves fairies and all that good stuff. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and assemble my wreath and then hopefully It'll be finished and we can hang it on the wall. This is what I'm talking about. Um, I tried to make this butterfly after making these. I mean, they're cute for maybe another kind of project. I don't like it for what I had envisioned for this wreath. So we are just going to get actual fake butterflies. This was like $5. Um, I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's real branches. Um, I'm sure that you can make this from branches in the backyard, but I was not about to do that. And then these are the flowers that I made yesterday. Little peonies. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make more. I might just buy more, maybe some fake flowers and then just add these and then i have these cute tiny mushrooms that i want to add and then i'm just taking some of these off and adding it to the wreath as well i just cut each one out she's really cute okay we're back home from hobby lobby and i got everything except for mushrooms i always do this i go with the intention of getting something and I leave come home and I remembered forgot something so okay this is what I found I found these beautiful butterflies I think look very fairy-esque <laughs> and then these butterflies as well I don't I almost went with the orange monarch butterflies but I thought it was too bright and crazy so I it was something lighter and then i bought some moss my mom has the ones that aren't green that moss but i think it kind of looked dead too dead with the branches so i wanted something more green and then i feel like i should add more flowers so i got this little bouquet that i thought i could just kind of trim some of these flowers up and make it pretty So please excuse my mess from yesterday, but I still have like tissue paper and all this stuff around. So um, this is what we're working with. Moss, all this, this beautiful fairy, this stuff. And then here is, I'm just gonna grab the wreath, maybe put it right here and then start adding on to it. I might have to break off some branches to make it nice, but let's get started.
okay guys what do you think did you like my wreath um this has been something that i've wanted to do for a while like the paper um flowers and everything whimsical and fairies i just love all of that so um if you enjoyed it make sure you like this video subscribe um comment and let me know what you liked. Let me know if you want to try doing something like this in the future. Um, yeah. Oh, also, look how perfect this mug is. It goes with the theme. There's a mushroom bundle, which is so cute. And I got it at Joann's, so if you have a Joann's near you, make sure you go and grab one of these. They're so cute. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you guys in the next one and have a great rest of your day.